Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Tia. Today on my channel, guys, we are making tacos. This is the best thing to have for lunch or a snack. So the tacos that we're going to be making today are beef tacos with the crispy taco shell. Um, what you'll need to make these tacos is of course some ground beef. You'll need seasoning for the ground beef, so like your seasoned salts, garlic, um, and also taco seasoning, and then some onions, and then you'll need stuff to top on top of your tacos. So you'll need like some shredded lettuce, tomatoes, cheese, sour cream, whatever you feel like is perfect to top on top of your tacos so i'm gonna show you guys how i like my tacos and what i put on mine and how i make it so if you guys want to see this video stay tuned so to help me make these tacos guys i went ahead and i bought the ortega taco dinner kit so growing up we always used the ortega brand to make our tacos we like love the flavor of the ortega mix so if you guys purchase a taco kit it comes with taco shells, taco seasoning, and taco sauce. So your basis of how you make your tacos is already complete from the Ortega kit, but what you season your meat with and top it with is an added bonus. So let's get right into making these tacos. All right guys, so what you wanna do now is just begin to prep what you are gonna be topping your tacos with. So I like to top my tacos with some shredded lettuce and all I did was take a head of romaine lettuce and just begin to dice that up and I also like to top my tacos with some tomatoes from the vine and I just begin to slice those up and dice them into tiny little pieces so that's all that I like to put on top of my tacos but some of you guys can add cheese sour cream or any other toppings that you'd like and just prep it before you begin to cook your meat So once all the toppings are prepped, I like to go ahead and take my pound of ground beef and just begin to break it up in the pot. I don't add any oil or anything like that to the pot because I got 15% fat in my meat and that's going to create its own oils in the bottom of the skillet. So after breaking up the meat, I like to add garlic powder, garlic and herb, and a little bit of seasoned salt to the meat. And you wanna just be careful with how much seasoned salt you use because the taco seasoning pack is already salted so you don't need too much seasoned salt. And all I do is just mix all of those ingredients in well with the meat. So then one set that's thoroughly mixed in. I like to go ahead and take the, from the Ortega dinner kit, and take the taco seasoning packet. And I like to go ahead and just add the full contents of that packet into the pot, and just mix all of that taco seasoning in with the ground beef, and make sure that every little piece of ground beef is coated with that taco seasoning. So from there, from the kit as well, I like to take the taco sauce. And I like to just add a little bit of sauce at a time while the meat cooks down. And just make sure that all that taco sauce is also coated all around the meat. So while our taco meat is cooking, I like to just go ahead and add the taco shells to the oven. So I just preheat the oven to 350 degrees and I let the taco shells get nice and warm for about 10 minutes. All right guys, so at this point, all of the taco sauce is mixed in with the ground beef and our beef is almost done cooking. So at this point, what I like to do is I like to just take a bowl and just take the meat off of the burner and just add it to the bowl. And then what I like to do is take a little bit of onions that I diced up and just saute it around in the same pot that I cooked the meat in and just let those onions cook 
down just a little bit. And I like to just spray a little bit of nonstick cooking spray and just continue to saute it and then add that ground beef right back to the pot and mix those onions in with the meat. So once the onions are all mixed in with the meat, I like to go ahead and add a little bit of marinara sauce because I like my tacos to be a little bit on the saucy side and I just mix that all in with the ground beef and then our meat is ready. All right guys, so our tacos are ready and let's start building them and putting them together and let's have a bite. Guys, these tacos are perfect, like literally perfect. They remind me of childhood, that childhood flavor that I miss so much. And because I'm over adulting, guys, I'm over it. <laughs> They're so good. Get yourself some tacos, guys, because these are perfect for like a taco night. And you don't have to use beef. You can use chicken, pork, fish, whatever. Let's do it, guys. I want you guys to do it. You guys know the hashtag for cooking with Tia. Hashtag tried cooking with Tia. Let's use it, guys. I want to see what you guys recreate that I made. Come back to this taco. If you guys enjoy videos like this, comment below and give me some more video ideas to do and I'll see you guys in my next video. Taco cheers!